Drop it. Hello everyone, this is Redstone GeoWire back again with another cool Minecraft tutorial for you guys. And today I've got something so awesome, so revolutionary. It's ba da da dum ba dum. Why else Redstone in Minecraft 1.7? Well, actually, Minecraft Snapshot 13W37B. But this is so awesome. Beforehand, my um, a wireless redstone in Minecraft was pretty hard to build and actually imp impossible and not quite re reliable. But this time, I made it easy to use, compact, easy to build, um, not survival friendly, unfortunately. But it's pretty handy if you need it in uh, like a, a big mini game. Uh, that, that sounded pretty odd, didn't it? A big mini game. A big game, if you made a big game, you have to travel redstone from there to over there all the way it's like oh what's some wires right repeater wires right it's so annoying but this time I've got um, my redstone and it's just in here and let's see that biggie I hated him so I I've, I uh, roped it up to a, a flag or, or a pole and I'm gonna kill it by just hitting this uh, button here ha <laughs> ha you dead now yeah you ain't gonna be shown and I can just do it right, but it's useless because he isn't there so Redstone GY, how, do, how does this work? Because there's just a, a, a piece of fence floating in the air. How can there be some an explosion in midair? Well, I'll tell you that, folks. We've got two modules for this for this thing to work. We've got a sender, which I call this. Okay. So basically, it works with uh, it, it's vanilla Minecraft, no MC edit. It's just command blocks. We've got because in the in the latest snapshots, they added a new command. Which is slash test for, and it's awesome. It's awesome. It can just place the block wherever you want to. So what I've got is the sender. It sends out the signal to a receiver, and the receiver I got that buried in this mountain here. If I can get the correct, here we go. So basically, this part, not the command block, is a receiver. Now what the sender does, um, it's gonna spawn a block. I'll show you that. It's gonna spawn a block. So set block and then the the coordinates and the coordinates are the exact coordinates the block in front of the furnace. So it's gonna spawn a stone block at these coordinates. I'm gonna show you that. Oops, it is. So it's gonna spawn a stone block right here. And there's an item in the furnace, uh, and that will send a power through the stone into the comparator, and then you can do whatever you want with this redstone signal I just made it summon a prime TNT in midair there as you can see the summon command is awesome as well you should check that out so um, yeah you have to build these two things um, you have to get the, the coordinates of this it's not always perfectly right how it's there but you can um, you can change that a bit you can just test that out but if you've got these commands yeah, you should just uh, get a command block, or uh, I mean, if you got the 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 axis like the Z, Y, and X axis, and then you just need a command block. Type in Z block, then the 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 coordinates for the where the block needs to sp spawn, and then a stone or any block, whatever doesn't matter. Remember, um, um, transparent blocks don't work because it won't let the redstone through as well. So keep that in mind. And then what I did here. Is I did the same coordinates only then air so it replaces the block so then we get a pulse so it, it, it'll put the stone block and then instantly almost instantly remove it yeah so that what will happen is this is the piston or the, the furnace and then we'll get a block and it disappears so we'll get a redstone output from that and you can do whatever what you want with that so I hope this was very useful um, if you want a, a further in-depth tutorial, I will do that. But let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This has been Redstone GY, and I'm out.